Sunday and welcome to our Bible lesson for today. Our topic for today is what do I do with my mustard seed faith? What do I do with my mustard seed faith? How many of you have heard of mustard seeds before? They're the tiniest seeds ever. They're so tiny, they're so small. They're so small that, you know, they are, you know, almost, you can, if, if I put them on my palms here, you probably not see, if I put one of it on my palms here, you probably not see it. So what I have got here, can you see what I've got here? I've got sand, right? So most of the seeds are tiny, as tiny as the little grains of sand, yeah, that's very small um, um, sizes of um, sand you've got, you can see here on my palms. Now, most of the seeds might be very tiny, but guess what? When you plant the mustard seed and it grows up, the tree becomes so big. Yeah. So, when Jesus said in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 20, that mm, you people do not believe. It. Why do you have so much unbelief? Why don't you believe when I said anything? And he said, well, you know what? If you believe... If your, your faith is as small as the mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there. And guess what? The mountain will move because there will be nothing impossible to you. So that was what Jesus said. And you know, God wants us to believe him. When he says anything, when he says I can do anything, God can do anything. Yes. He can. He can bring peace into your home. He can bring peace to your country. He can make what looks very, very difficult, very simple. Say your schoolwork, maybe your homework, whatever it is, that look, just look very difficult. He can make it so simple to you if you ask him for help. Because God says what? The Bible says what? That if you have the faith, the faith is as small as mustard seed, as small as mustard seed, you can say to any mountain, move from here to there. Now, we might not want to get a mountain out of our way, right? That reminds me of a story of a boy who went to church. And he was hearing the same kind of sermon. His pastor was talking about the mustard seed and the kind of faith that is like the mustard seed. It's more like the mustard seed, but very powerful in the sight of God. And you know, the boy listened so closely to the pastor. In his mind, he said, Pastor is just deceiving also. Yeah, but I will try it. I will try it. I don't know if you've heard of this story before. But you know what the boy did? The boy went home. And he remembered that. Hmm, this mountain that is behind my house. That keeps me from being able to go to school. I, if this mountain is not here. I can just go straight to my school. My school is just behind the mountain. And you know. He said. I better try what the pastor said. And see if this Bible it's true. If God's word is true. And the boy tried it. One day he sat outside and he said to this mountain, You this mountain? Because my pastor said that if I speak to this mountain, you would move. Now I want you to move and just throw yourself into the sea over there. Because it was a sea not too far from his house. Guys, what do you think happened? Well, by the time he would open his eyes after prayer, the mountain was still there. <laughs> but, but, he went back to his pastor. And told pastor, pastor, but you said that the Bible said that if I say to this mountain, be moved and cast into the sea, it will happen. And his pastor said, yes, I said so. But that was not me. It was actually the word of God. Jesus said so himself. And if you believe and you say to the mountain, be moved and cast into the sea, it will happen. Just as you have said it, because nothing will be impossible to you. And you know what the boy did? He said, oh, pastor, so if I believe, if I believe, but pastor, I believed. I thought it was going to happen. Pastor said, go back and save with faith and leave God to do it. It might not happen immediately, but you know what? Because you believe God, somehow, some way, God will do it. And you know what that boy did? He went home and told the mountain, because I'd love for this 
place to lead straight to my school so I don't have to go around you. Mountain, move into the sea that is not too far from us. He didn't know how God was going to do it. Have you ever seen a mountain before? Is it possible for a mountain to just up and walk into the sea? No. But let me tell you what happened to this guy's story. The government found a way to get that mountain into the sea. How did it happen? They needed to construct something somewhere else, to build something somewhere else. And that region, the, the mountain there, was disturbing them from doing what they needed to do. I'm not sure that it, I understand, I can remember the story very well. But somehow, a big company, maybe the government sent the company, came there and they did the breaking down of the mountain. One of those days I was coming back from school, he just came back and the mountain was gone. And he saw the people working there, working on the mountain, how they were shoveling the bricks, the, 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 the granites from the mountain, and they were emptying it in the sea that he had said for them to, forgot to move the mountain to. Did you see that? God is able to do anything. At the right time, in his own way, we will do it. So what is that thing that is going on? Whether in your house, or whether around you, or whether your country, it could be anything that looks like a very impossible thing. Remember, Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 be, But if you believe, you say to this mountain, be moved and cast into the sea. Without doubting, if you do not doubt God, somehow, some way, it will be possible. Nothing will be impossible to you. So I want you to go pick up your Bible and read Matthew chapter 17 verse 20. Read it and now begin to tell God all of those things that you are going through, your mommy and daddy are going through, or is, going, is it happening on in your country that you do not like. You want to change and ask God to bring a change to them. Will you do that? God bless you. But you know, before you can go to God and, you know, ask him for him to do something, he has to be your father, right? If you ask your father for anything, he will do it. A good father does what will make his child's life better. So, if you are there and you've never asked God to be your father, you can. God wants to be your father. All you have to do is say, Lord, because of your son Jesus Christ, because it came into the world to die for me, to make me your child to Heavenly Father, please, I want you to become my father today. Forgive me my sins and make me your child today because of the, the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross when Jesus died for our sins. Thank you for making me your child. Thank you for forgiving my sins and making me your child. In Jesus' name. So now you have become a child of God because of Jesus Christ's Son. And now you can go to the Father and ask Him for anything in the name of Jesus. And He will do it. Just believe. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you had a wonderful worship time. Make sure to click like down below and subscribe to this channel for many more moments with Jesus and New Covenant Church, Ife City. God bless you.